Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Office Space. What do you know about this? It's comedy. Yeah. It won our comedy Patreon poll. Yeah, so we would like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our comedy movie poll. I don't know a ton else about it. I'm obviously assuming that it's like an office setting. I have seen this movie. This is technically just your first time watching. I love this movie. It's definitely been a while since I've seen this, but it is Mike Judge, who is responsible for tons of stuff that we enjoy, like uh, specifically King of the Hill. Love King of the Hill. I'm super excited for this. I also work in an office <laughs> um, and I have since college. So I think this humor is gonna be my type of humor, I hope. I feel like your job is more office job than my job. Yeah. So I still, you know, have some office aspect, but I feel like this is gonna cater to you very well. So I'm yeah. really excited for you to watch this because I, I think you'll love it. But I love my job now. So, <laughs> so <laughs> if anybody's watching this, I love my job. So I'm super excited for this. Um, I think it's gonna be great. And it's what we need after Hereditary. Yeah, that was the last movie we saw. So yeah. we need something funny. Yes. <laughs> So if you'd like to see this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the full length reactions, man, what the fuck do I say? If you'd like to see the full length okay. reactions to this. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this or everything. As well as everything else. Oh my God, see when I, when I lose it, I lose it. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction of this. If you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else we reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. Good job. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> so if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh man, I forgot this is a rated R comedy. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't remember it being like raunchy or anything. I was like, when did you see this? You probably were pretty young. Oh yeah, before I ever had a job. Okay, so Mike Judge also did Silicon Valley? Yeah, um, okay. yeah, we love that too. Love Silicon Valley. Oh, I don't know what this guy's name is. Ron Livingston, I believe. Okay. He was in Band of Brothers too. Yes. <laughs> this is literally the worst part of any job is the commute. Yeah. I think. So you change lanes and then that's the slow lane. That's always what happens. I knew it! No! You gotta stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Oh. Mother shit, that son of a ass! <laughs> I don't want to reveal too much about myself, but this is a lot of me <laughs> happening so far. Well, the road rage part. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the road rage part. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I recognize this guy. Yeah, he's probably in a ton. So he must be the boss, the other guy. The Porsche. <laughs> Just already defeated before the day starts. <laughs> Start the day with a little shock. Is this giving you nightmares already? Yes. Cube life. Just a moment. Corporate accounts payable, Nina speaking. Just a moment. <laughs> why is she... Why does her voice sound like that? <laughs> it's her phone voice. Everyone has a different phone voice. Very true. You apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. I forgot. Mm. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo. Well, I, 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 I have the memo. I've got it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't not hear this woman in the Just background. <laughs> Milton. This is Bill from King of the Hill. Told that I could listen to the radio at a reasonable volume. Personal favor. Well, I have to turn down the radio because yeah, all right, okay. I enjoy listening at a reasonable volume. <laughs> we need to talk about your TPS reports. <laughs> Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo, oh. and I understand the policy. It's just we're putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports before they go out. <laughs> this, this is this might be worse than Hereditary. <laughs> That'd be great. All right. This is supposed to be my escape. <laughs> <laughs> 
He hasn't got a single thing done since he walked in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have the memo. <laughs> Why does it say pepper jam in there? <laughs> Kick this piece of shit out the window. You and me both, man. So are you related to that singer guy? No, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> I think he voices some people too. At least your name isn't Michael Bolton. And that no talent ass clown became famous and started winning Grammys. Go by Mike. What should I change? He's the one who sucks. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna lose it. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> one of these days, it's just gonna be like... <laughs> oh, God. It's coffee. Okay. Sounds like a case of the Mondays. Oh no! <laughs> Is this already the worst movie and best movie you've ever seen? Lumberg's gonna have me work on Saturday. I, I can tell already. I'm gonna end up doing it because I'm a big pussy. <laughs> I am also not a pussy. I can't stop crying. I could program a virus that would rip that place off big time. Uh oh. There she is. Whoa! Jennifer Aniston? Yeah! If you're so obsessed with her, why don't you just ask her out? So obsessed with her. An occupational hypnotherapist? Yeah, I, I know. I get thinking that she's cheating on me. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the guy might actually be able to help. I mean, he did help Anne lose weight. Peter, she's anorexic. The guy's really good. <laughs> a hypnotherapist is going to help you solve any of your problems. And speaking of problems, what's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Oh <laughs> my gosh! Did you get the memo? You have to interview with this consultant, but what you're really doing is interviewing for your own job. Whoa. Yeah. Not this time. I bet I'm the first one laid off. I believe him. You see, it would be this map. Conclusions written on it that you could jump to. <laughs> Great job. Yes, it's horrible. <laughs> this idea. At least they're honest with him. You see, load letter. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> uh, Printers. They literally never work. No. Never. Check out Channel 9, check out this chick! Can't you just pretend like we can't hear each other through the wall? If you want to talk to me, just come over. <laughs> check this out, dude. The key is oh, God. <laughs> it's for breast cancer. Sometimes I get the feeling like she's cheating on me. Yeah, I get that feeling too. <laughs> Everyone knows. I just get that feeling looking at her. Sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays. No. <laughs> Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something. <laughs> Turn off your answering machine. You should be home free, man. Doesn't sound like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great idea. What would you do if you had a million dollars? Two chicks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think if I were a millionaire, I could hook that up, too, because chicks dig dudes with money. Simple priorities. I would relax. Oh. Sit on my ass all day. I like it. Yeah. Well, you don't need a million dollars to do nothing, man. Take a look at my cousin. He's broke, don't do shit. <laughs> the ultimate dream. Yeah. Just a moment. <laughs> Just a moment. How many phone calls does this woman get? <laughs> Is that the, the guy? Company. Okay, then. Uh, oh. It's from Scrubs. Make things run a little more smoothly around here. It's almost worse than HR coming in. Right. Okay, Milton. And, oh, no, it's not okay because they, they make me... If... <laughs> He's talking to Milton. I'll set the, the building on fire. I'll set the... <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, I'll talk to you later, all right? Bye. Get out of there! He's on the hunt. He's gonna have to go around. Oh, no. Gosh. Just leave it. Just leave it. So slow. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you might get in more trouble for leaving early, no? Rebuilding index. <laughs> I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday. Whoa. Lost some people this week. We need to sort of play catch up. Thanks. Freaking, <laughs> just a moment. Accounts painful, lady. Ever since I started working, every single day of my life has been worse than... <laughs> single day that you see me, that's on the worst day of my life. <laughs> Is today the worst day of your life? Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> Is there any way that you could 
Just sock me out. I don't know that I'm at work. And think that I've been fishing all day, or... Look at her face. <laughs> I want you to relax every muscle in your body. I want you to relax your legs. You relaxing? No, because I've been hypnotized before and it was not <laughs> fun. Now when I count backwards from three, you will be in a state of complete relaxation. Way... So sweaty. Way down. Is he having a heart attack or something? <gasps> oh. oh my god, Dr. Swanson! Oh no, he never snapped his finger! <laughs> Is he breathing? Call 911. Oh. <laughs> Just totally relaxed. <laughs> I'm gonna relate more to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just didn't get up. Well, he doesn't care about anything. Yeah, hi. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> 17. Hello? Peter, what's going on? 3.30, why aren't you at work? I didn't feel like it. First you just sit there while Dr. Swanson dies, then you just walk out of the car and- He's dead. Don't blame this on hypnosis either, that's total bull- <laughs> She <laughs> took him to it! Oh, uh, and one more thing. I've been shooting on you! <laughs> surprise, surprise. I'm just gonna go ask out Jennifer Aniston. Hey, look who's back! Table for three. <laughs> I'm gonna go next door and get a table, and if you'd like to join me, uh, no big deal, all right? Chilies or, or flingers? Flingers. <laughs> He's so chill. Why couldn't the customers just take them directly to the, to the software people, huh? Oh, no. Engineers are not good at dealing with customers. Physically bring them to the software people. Well, no. <laughs> I have people skills. <laughs> I am good at dealing with people. Oh, no. Poor Tom. Oh, that did not go well. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> All right. So tell me, what's your favorite song of his? Does he know a single song? <laughs> I guess I sort of like them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Ryan of the yeah. exact same way. You know, you, you can just call me Mike. <laughs> wow. This place is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uniforms better anyway. I like yours. <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> These suspenders and wired to wear. Um... Such a spaz. It doesn't really matter. I uh, I don't like my job. <laughs> You're just not gonna go? Yeah. Won't you get fired? I don't know. <laughs> but I really don't like it, and uh, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> so you gonna quit? Nuh-uh. <laughs> just not gonna say anything. Um, when did you decide all of that? About an hour ago. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so are you gonna get another job? I don't think I'd like another job. <laughs> bills and... You know, I've never really liked paying bills. <laughs> doesn't like anything. In my apartment and watch Kung Fu. Do you ever watch Kung Fu? I love Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> you should come over and watch Kung Fu tonight. Okay. Great. Soulmates. We order lunch first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Strange turn of events. At the swing line. Here, let me just go ahead and get that. Okay. I can set the building on fire. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Milton. What the hell's going on, man? I thought you were going to come in here and start shooting. <laughs> oh my god. I did absolutely nothing, and it was everything that I thought it could be. <laughs> The best day ever. No, I feel great. It's the best day of my life. <laughs> Not even dressed for work. We're just talking about you. You must be Peter Gibbons. Uh huh. Terrific. <laughs> oh, hi, Bob. Bob. Peter, why don't you go ahead and grab a seat and join us? This is two Bobs. Would you walk us through a typical day for you? Oh no. I generally come in at least fifteen minutes late. <laughs> I just stare at my desk, but it looks like I'm working. I probably only do about 15 minutes of real... <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something about TPS reports. <laughs> Stock option equity sharing program. I don't know, I guess. It's been really nice talking to both of you guys. <laughs> the the pleasure's all on this side yeah. of the table. 
I hope your firings go really well. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What? <laughs> Just crushed it. Oh, Peter. What's happening? Listen. <laughs> well, like Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flair on it. 37. You do want to express yourself, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tom Sinkowski. He's useless. Go on. Oh. Hi, Tom. I looked into it more deeply, and I found that it laid off five years ago. <laughs> Through some kind of glitch in the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. Went ahead and fixed the glitch. Oh. We fixed the glitch. <laughs> it's free labor. To a Peter Gibbons. That's just a straight shooter with upper management written all over him. <laughs> upper what? management. Problems with his TPS reports. I'll have this. <laughs> so let me ask you... Real quick question here. Uh oh. How much time would you say you spend each week dealing with these TPS reports? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna take his job? <laughs> it's just parked in Bill's spot. His flip flops. <laughs> oh. Trashing it. <laughs> oh, no. oh, sorry, Bill. It's good to be a gangster. Sorry, Peter. Feeding the poor and helping oh. out with their bills. Hi, Dom. Oh. <laughs> it's just so hurt. <laughs> now I'm in the US making. <laughs> just preparing his fish. That's gotta smell so bad. <laughs> Riding around town in a drop top fence. Oh, <laughs> the TPS report. Got a view. <laughs> Just a menace around the office. Oh, Tetris. <laughs> so, Peter, what's happening? He's not very good at it. All right now, Lumberg, I'm, I'm kind of busy. Let's come back another time. I got a meeting with the Bobs in a couple of minutes. <laughs> meeting with the Bobs? Yeah, they called me at home. <laughs> that sounds good, Peter. And uh, we'll go ahead and. Get this all fixed up for you. Change this tune. People coming in and no. we need all the there's, space we can get. But there's no space, so... Poor Milton, he already has all these boxes. And move it down there. But no. That would be terrific. I, I believe you have my stapler. <laughs> Aw, Milton. We're going to be getting rid of these people here. Uh, first, Mr. Samir. They're not going to work here anymore anyway. Is <laughs> <laughs> that all his friends? Yeah. You're gonna lay off Samir and Michael. Four people working right underneath you. This is a big promotion. <laughs> so you're gonna fire Michael and Samir and you're gonna give me more money? That's how it works. There comes a point in a man's life and maybe that time for you is now. One of you's getting fired and one of you's getting a promotion. What's to stop you from doing this? It's not worth the risk, I got a good job. What if you didn't have a good job? <laughs> Cock gobblers. <laughs> Oh, at least he told them. Yeah. And you, you haven't been showing up and you get to keep your job. Actually, I'm being promoted. <laughs> Human beings were not meant to sit in little cubicles staring at computer screens. Uh. I told those fudge packers I like Michael Bolton's music. <laughs> Forgot about that. Look, even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how to install it. I don't know that credit union software well enough. But Samir does. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of being pushed around. Gotta do something. They're gonna become criminals? <laughs> Shit, we should be so lucky. Do you know they have conjugal visits there? <laughs> I'm a free man. I haven't had a conjugal visit in six months. <laughs> Unemployment or early retirement. In these conjugal visits, you can have sex with women? You sure can. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> That's the only barrier. I think you need a woman to come visit you. <laughs> right. Of course. Agreed. Don't worry, man. I won't tell anyone either. <laughs> He's cool. It's called virus. <laughs> I can't believe they share a cube. Right? Race up and I ain't gonna chase up. It's 
like a bank heist. I wonder whose computer this is. Probably his new office computer or something for his promotion. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Put it to a computer. Did you guys hear about Thomas Mikowski? He goes home and tries to kill himself by running the car in the garage. Oh. You okay, Thomas? Then as he's yeah. looking at her, yeah. he decides he wants to live. Love you. But then as soon as he backs out of his driveway. Oh my God. He broke both his wrists, legs, a couple of ribs, his back. But check it out. He's going to get a huge settlement out of this. He's going to throw a big party this weekend to celebrate. All right, Tom. Things go well. I might be showing her my O fake. You know what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Good for Tom, but I hope he's okay. Yeah. Stole something else. Call it a going away present. <laughs> this scene is iconic. He's <laughs> beating it up. <laughs> so hard. Oh my god. Oh. One of the best scenes ever. Oh, wow. Hey, what were you guys celebrating last night? I'm not really at liberty to talk about it. All right, so <laughs> round them all down and just drop the remainder into an account that we open. So you're stealing? No, no, you don't understand. It's. Uh, yes. You take a penny from the tray. From the crippled children? No, that's the jar. I'm talking. <laughs> Take a penny, leave a penny. You have to put on a bunch of pieces of flair? Taking money from the register. <laughs> well, maybe you should. Nazis had pieces of flair, but they made the Jews wear. Oh my god. Michael! Oh, it's oh no. Somebody I'd like you to meet is uh, Joanna. Forgive me for not getting up. <laughs> <laughs> He's in such great spirits. Oh, Tom's the best. Kick someone's ass the first day, or become someone's bitch. Then everything will be all right. Why do you want to ask anyone? <laughs> Smooth. Isn't that the girl that works over at Tchotchkes? Yeah. Make sure you wear yeah. rubber, dude. She gets around. All right. Hell, Lumberg fucked her. Lumberg? Yeah, well, maybe it wasn't such a good idea for you to sleep with Lumberg. Oof. He represents all that is soulless and wrong. <laughs> and you slept with him. Hey! Who do you think you are? How dare you judge me? Penny stealing, wannabe uh, criminal man. <laughs> Why don't you just call me when you grow up? That's probably never gonna happen, so just don't call me, okay? Say hello to Lumber! First thing that really stressed him out. Yeah, it was like he's like not. He's not carefree. Mug. Can you give me those TPS reports ASAP? <laughs> okay. Oh no. I think he might be out of the hypnosis. I do want to express myself, and I don't need 37 pieces of flair to do it. <laughs> and this is me expressing myself. Okay? There it is. <laughs> oh no, no. I hate this goddamn job and I don't need it. Oh. Oh shit. That's a lot. Michael, you said the thing was gonna take two years. You said the thing was supposed to work. Technically, it did work. <laughs> Just very well. I must have put a decimal point in the wrong place. <laughs> I always mess up some mundane detail. Oh! Well, this is not a mundane detail! <laughs> Just stressing out. First thing we gotta do is we gotta close that account before it gets any bigger. 300 grand in a day. <laughs> Now, Milton, yeah. let's pass it along and make sure everyone gets a piece. They raise you up people to cake. <laughs> the ratio of people to cake. Oh. Milton. <laughs> Is there some way to just give the money back? I, I think they'd figure that out. Maybe we could launder the money. Okay, how do we do that? I don't even know what it means. I was hoping you knew. <laughs> Do we know any coke dealers? My, my cousin's a coke head. <laughs> That's a start. Super helpful. Yes, we are in very, very deep shit. 
Oh no. Down in the basement. Take care of the cockroach problem. And I, I haven't received my bill. So, Still not getting paid. Excuse me. That's the last girl. Oh no. <laughs> Pushed Milton too far. I can't believe what a bunch of nerds we are. We're looking up money laundering in a dictionary. You guys can both eat my ass. So. <laughs> you used to be addicted to crack? I do not know anything about any money laundering. <laughs> All the stuff I said about being a crackhead just helps me sell a magazine. I'm actually, an unemployed software engineer. Maybe he could still help. Right? You're a software engineer? Yep. You're not going to tell anybody about all this stuff we told you. Actually, um, that all depends. What am I going to do with 40 subscriptions to Vibe? <laughs> I never should have done this. I thought he wanted in on it. <laughs> he just made bank. You are a very bad person, Peter. Just turn... That's not really fair to blame just Peter. Yeah, they all made the decision. Lawrence, you awake? Yeah. You want to come over? No thanks, man. I don't want you fucking up my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just don't want you fucking up my life. He just, he is going to just send it back? Yeah. Oh, she's working at the other place. Yeah. What happened? I flipped off my boss. Actually, a line cook, but he just happened to be standing there. <laughs> it's friendly fire. But I think that if I could be with you, that I could be happy with my life. If you could give it another shot, I promise okay, you, Joanna. Regret. Immediate regret. Mr. Lumberg. Just go sit yeah. at your desk, but, okay? Okay. I... <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Yeah. The door was just open the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it was just unlocked. I hope Milton takes it. <laughs> time to go face the music. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. <laughs> okay, Lawrence. Great advice. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Get out of there, Milton. <laughs> Nothing left. The stapler. I think I know someone who might want this. We're gonna be okay, right? Yeah. So you sure you don't want us to get your job? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. Has a job where no one goes, oh, case of the Mondays. Stay in touch, man. Okay, will do. I thought they would still have the money if no one cashed the checks. Excuse me, excuse me, senor. <laughs> Someone cashed the checks. And I said no thaw, no thaw for the margarita, but it had thought on it. That seems <laughs> So I won't be leaving a tip. I could shut this whole resort down. <laughs> I could put, I could put strychnine in the guacamole. <laughs> All right, that was Office Space. What'd you think? <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, that's such a good movie. That was so funny. I feel like a lot of this hit me in the feels. Oh yeah. For just working in an office. Some of these annoyances are just like so normal for everyday corporate life. Yeah, like just corporate jobs in general. This was great. And the fact that, I mean, this is, a, I think, a 90s film. Right. But a lot of this is still relevant. I feel like this is like timeless. Like there's yeah. always just the same situations in this corporate cubicle world. Yeah. I mean, the technology obviously changes, but printers still suck. Printers still don't work. Yeah. And obviously the bosses and the personalities and all of that. Right. There's always people who kind of get shafted. There's always people who just annoy you or, you know, there's the uh, the mundane tasks of like the TPS report. Yeah. Or so all of that is just so true still to this day. Yeah, so I loved it. I feel like all of the characters are obviously what made the film. Oh yeah. Peter was fantastic, Ron Livingston, Michael Bolton, yeah. and then you had Samir. Last name. <laughs> <laughs> whatever his last name was because I think maybe he said it once. Yeah, he said it like once and every other time they said it wrong. wrong. So. I loved 
Milton. Milton, yeah. He was great. I just loved like his big thick glasses and like the little like under speaking so like quiet yeah just under his breath i just thought that was hilarious obviously he found those checks and he went through with it and he finally burned the place to the ground he kept telling people they just weren't listening he was like this is the final straw (laughs) i'm gonna burn this place to the ground (laughs) you know it was clearly made in a much different time yeah because it is heavy on some of like some extreme office jokes yeah some of the like workplace violence probably not be received as well right um obviously we know this is all a joke it's all a joke um, it's just a movie from the yeah. times the concept of it all is still so true yeah i just think that there's something in this movie that anyone can kind of relate to if they've had any sort of job that they didn't like yeah not and even, I feel like, especially in an office. Especially in an office, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could see maybe this, like, going into other areas. But just like you said, the kind of mundane, like, day-to-day, a lot of things are the same, going through emails and, like, that type of stuff. But I think it was really funny. And Samir with, like, the road rage. Yeah, the road rage, um, the commuting. Yeah, Peter with the commuting. Like, it's all accurate. And literally, commuting is my least favorite thing on the planet. My boss even knows that now. Like, at just... I hate the commute. I don't like to drive in general. And then you get stuck in traffic and it's like over. Right. So that was a great start to the film for me. I was like, oh man, this is going to be relatable. Oh yeah. For you, I know that there's certain situations, like especially like a commuting or something that it's just got to be a whole different level for someone who has these daily experiences of just a printer not working yeah. or the boss constantly like over your shoulder just like checking out like it's got to be so stressful to just like see your boss coming around the corner like crap here it comes <laughs> so this movie it's just so funny yeah no this was great I love this very much. And like I said, the characters like made the film. I'm trying to think of some of my other like favorite moments. Obviously, I was super excited to see Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, she's not in this movie as much as I remember. I thought she was in it a lot more. Yeah. Um, but she plays great opposite Ron Livingston. So they have yeah. great like chemistry. Yeah, they had great chemistry. It was a lot of fun. I like that she was like kind of startled by his forwardness because he was so like go with the flow, but she just like went for it. And then yeah. they ended up being a great couple. Do you like Kung Fu? I I love Kung Fu. (laughs) It was hilarious. And then for her to just like kind of snap at her job and she's like, you know what? I don't need this. Screw this. No, they kind of changed each other a little bit. You know, Mm -hmm. obviously Peter was able to realize, okay, I'm messing up here and, you know, doing stuff wrong. And then she was also able to kind of be like, you know what? I don't need to put up with with certain stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, you know, fuck this job. I'm going across the street. That place looks better. Yeah. She hated her flair. She loved the uniform at the other place when they went. Yeah. So they both kind of got perspective on their own lives, which was super cool. Yeah. Um, Obviously, we talked to Michael and Samir. Great friends. You know, the most iconic scene in this movie is probably... The beatdown of the printer. Oh my god. It's so perfect. And just Michael just gets so upset and actually starts physically punching it to pull him off. It's literally he tries to go back for it. It's literally like a mafia movie where they're trying to kill someone who like double crossed them or something like that. Oh, and all I could think of, like some of my coworkers are some of my best friends now. And we've totally talked about going and I don't know if you guys have heard of this. There's like uh Oh, like a rage room? Or yeah, something? they're called rage rooms. And you literally go in with like bats and stuff and you break things. Like you can bring your own things, like yeah. plates and Whatever. Last things, or you can bring like old computers, printers, like that type of stuff. And we've been talking about this for so long, just going and doing that. And that scene, just like I was like, man, we gotta do it. We gotta, like, we gotta it. go do it. I think it would be so much. Look fun. Look how much they are changed after that, releasing so much anger and tension. Yeah, it's yeah, perfect. It's usually like one printer. Usually they're not all bad, but there's that one printer, and it's always the printer that you need. Like it's the printer that does the most stuff. Yeah. And it just does not work when you need it to. Uh, Yeah, you got to take it and take it out. Yeah. So, I mean, there's been a handful of times where I've been like, I'm going to throw my computer out the window. (laughs) Like, I've joked about it. I think the office equipment aspect of it was hilarious. Oh, yeah. And this movie is definitely a bunch of different parts. I mean, it's so funny in the beginning when Peter is still pretty much Peter. Mm -hmm. And it it is all the office stuff of uh, the multiple bosses and the phone call for the TPS report. It's the lady in the cubicle next to him. 
Uh, it's even down to just his facial expression walking into the office and getting he shocked. Knew. He, he knew. He knew. It was <laughs> like, that's how he starts his day every day. Like, he knew his boss was going to ask him to work on the weekend. So that it was just so funny. And then it just completely shifts into this like carefree movie where it's just this adventure of a guy not giving a shit. And it working so well for him. The fact yeah. that he just played it off so cool and he was just so blunt. Like what makes me want to work hard? Like right. there's Why? no incentive for me to work hard here. And that's, I feel like such a great view of office politics yeah. and corporate life that you had Michael and Samir, who were clearly the two like best programmers that they had in the building. Yet it was Peter who didn't do anything was the one who got promoted because he had the relationships with the people who had the ability to promote him. Yes. So it often doesn't matter about skill. Yeah. It's typically who do you know? Yeah, it is usually about relationships. So I thought that was just so funny, though, that they were just like eating out of the palm of his hand when he was like talking about just like, Ah, oh, you know, I usually just zone out for about an hour. I probably in a week I work for like 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Like he got so much credit for being so honest that I love that scene where Bill comes and the office walls like down mm -hmm. and Peter's like, hey, Bill, we're going to have to do this later. I got a meeting with the Bobs and you can see Bill was just like, oh, shit, I don't do that much around here. Uh, the Bobs are kind of after me and he was like, okay, have a good meeting. We'll take care of this. Yeah, we'll get this <laughs> fixed, which that was awesome. I mean, I've worked in Cube's offices and whatnot, and I actually have never had a window. Even now, I don't have a window. I've never well, had a window. I have a window, but it's to the inside. Um, <laughs> yeah, you so, just see other cubes. Yeah, so the fact that he like knocked that down and he like had a view and he was like the sun, I was like, man, the little things. Milton used to have that before they put him into the yeah, basement. Yeah, they just kept moving him back and back and then downstairs to the basement. So, that was his final straw. Final straw. And then um, you have Tom, who is such like, oh, a sad Tom. story and he's the <laughs> one who gets... <laughs> To, to go from that garage scene to then just getting smashed by that car. I knew as soon as he wasn't looking yeah. and he was just going straight back. And I feel like that takes me back to like, I don't know if this is like a millennial thing or whatever, but like the running joke of like getting like hit, oh, hit by, by a bus. bus or something. Yeah, just be like, man, it would be great if on campus today I just got hit by a school bus. Yeah, hit something. by a campus bus, my school would be paid for. Right. So it just kind of reminded me of that. Um, obviously, if if that is a very niche joke, then we sound probably crazy. I think it's probably maybe niche and we might sound crazy, but it's the yeah. same thing where it's like, you know, you drive around your car and someone almost hits you. You're like, just do it. And it's like, just hit me. Yeah. Just pay pay for some of my bills. <laughs> I Fuck this car. Just rear end me. You can get me some money here. Like, <laughs> But that is me. Like I do, my car is not nice. Like no. I drive a very old car. I've had the same car since I was 16 years old. So, uh, <laughs> like, me. yeah, when people are like driving and they get all crazy. I'm like, go for it. <laughs> Do it. Just go for like it. Like cars with 500 bucks. Like, <laughs> just be like, oh, my neck can like pay off some of my bills. So it, to see that happen to Tom is just so funny. Yeah. And I'm glad that his wife came in and saved him. You know, because he, he looked at her and he was like, oh, I want to live. It's, it's actually a very beautiful, touching moment. Yeah. And it's just great to see him kind of be rewarded. And for that party to be like, open up the door and he's just like so happy and yeah. joking around. He's it's like, thriving Yeah, he's like, wheelchair. this is my lawyer. Like, <laughs> And then for them to be asking the lawyer, like, what is it like in white collar prison? <laughs> so many good jokes. I mean, we're literally, we could run through the whole movie yeah, with all the great jokes, but it's... I loved this. I was actually incredibly excited to watch this film just because I did think it was going to be pretty relatable. Yeah. And it was. I think it was great. So I had a lot of fun. I don't know if there's like a sequel or anything to this, but. No, I don't think so. I mean, there's other Mike Judge movies that are funny that I've seen at least one of them. I knew you would like it. I loved it. Like I said, you have the office stuff, then you have the carefree stuff, and then it goes kind of into like a crime yeah. like movie where it does kind of get like little high stakes and for the big payoff to just be Milton burning the place down and it saves he kept everyone. telling people and yeah. then he gets to end up on an island. Milton ends up on an island. The other two guys, they still have jobs. It's what they wanted to do. Good for them. And Peter, you know, talking to his roommate, Lawrence, Lawrence or his, or, not his wall roommate, mate. his wall mate. And, you know, and it goes back to the earlier conversation where it was like, do you like your job? And he's like, yeah, man, like, you know, he's just 
out in the sun working out and stuff good pay or whatever it's just and nobody ever says you got a case of the mondays yeah so it's just like tom said you just gotta find something push through things will end up all right yeah and he found someone that he really loved joanna yeah joanna was great i think they were a great fit i loved this first time i watched this movie i think i was young enough where i didn't even have an office job i don't even but i don't think i had a job so yeah, I still found it funny. And yeah. now, you know, many years later, having job experience, it just means so much more. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.